to the neighborhood section of the property search. So in this section, the main goal is to really narrow down <clears throat> or touch on the most important topics when trying to, to, to determine a neighborhood or what subdivision we want to be uh, looking in. And so in this area, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, there are a ton of different subdivisions and a ton of different areas. Um, but some of the things to look for is really where are you at in your life? Um, are we looking to, to grow a family? Are we looking to downsize? Is going to be the first. So the bed bath count, that's going to be the first uh, in square footage. That'll give us an idea of the size of the home that we're looking for, and that'll kind of narrow down the sections of the subdivision we're looking for. But the big things are going to be neighborhood safety. Is that something that's important to you? Are you going to be out walking around um, with your family, with your dogs? That's important. Is it going to be, how about the uh, closest grocery store or pharmacy or department store? Do you want easy access or walkability or short drivability to these areas or are you okay driving 10, 15 minutes? You know, there's a give take there. Do you want acreage or do you want closeness to civilization, I guess? And then also like, is there a vet close by? Like, do you have pets that you're gonna, you wanna know the, the closest vet or minor things like, is there a gym close by? Is the dentist close by? Things that you, or a barber, things that you would typically do on a you know weekly, monthly basis that you wanna have quick access to. That'll go right into school district. So uh, do we have a family that we want to have an ideal school district? Is that a part of the, the equation? Or do we need to know nearby parks? Do we like to go on walks, be out in nature? Do we have dogs? Do we need to be near a dog park or um, walking paths? How about the commute to work? So this work 40 minutes away, is that something you're okay doing? Or do we want to find a neighborhood that's gonna be a little closer to work? That way the commute isn't as bad or even the traffic. So do we wanna be on a major interstate or do we wanna be on back roads? Also the types of res restaurants and then ultimately the resale value because we don't want to buy or purchase a property that you know maybe in 10 years we could potentially sell but we're in an area that is shrinking. So if we're not in an area of growth or maintenance then that property probably won't appreciate as much as we want and so we, those are things that we want to bring into account. If we know the subdivision we want to be in, maybe we can lean in a little closer to a, a micro area that's going to be a little more developed or being in the development phase. That way in five, ten years, your home would have a, a very healthy level of appreciation when you go to sell it. So these are all things that we look for in general when searching for a property. But obviously there's always going to be specifics and that's what that link is down below. When you have specifics about a, a property type or something that you're looking for with the neighborhood, just go ahead and click that link, schedule a 15 minute call, and I'll be happy to dive into that. But these are the ones that hit the majority of what we're looking for when we're trying to determine a neighborhood.